Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of Kuiper Labs. Um, this is going to be a bit of a how-to video for the activity we're going to do of making a scaled model or a scaled diagram of the Earth's structure. Okay, so we briefly kind of introduced this concept that we could, you know, if we could take kind of the, the you know, the Earth is a sphere, or at least close enough to it for our purposes, um, and that if we could actually kind of take you know, take a knife or take something and actually kind of cut it down, that we would see that like kind of a cake, that there would be layers existing inside our Earth. Okay, going from the surface all the way to the centre. Okay, so I might relabel that. So going from the surface to the centre. Okay, and so that there are a couple of things that we know about this. Okay. The first, um, so, and what we're going to what we're going to be doing in this activity that we will do um, is to 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 try draw a diagram to scale of these different layers. Okay, so we have um, the yeah. So there's a couple of things that we know. The first is that the radius of the Earth is six thousand three hundred and seventy-eight kilometers. So that is the distance from the outermost surface to the very center of the Earth. Okay, so what we need to then do is to work out and say, all right, well, for our diagram um, that we're going to do, that you're going to make, um, how can we represent you know, this, these different layers to scale? Okay, so first I'm just going to, um, I'm going to put up on the screen the image that we're going to be um, basing this from. Okay, so what you can see that the, on the right hand side of this image is some data. Um, about the the depths of, at which the different layers kind of start. Now, this particular image that you see has got some other things that you might not have seen on on an image of the dot of the Earth before. Okay, so you can see kind of at the very top, you know, it's the top out like outermost part of the crust, and then we go down to four a depth of four hundred kilometers, which is kind of where um, we're seeing kind of that that, uh, that the, the top of that kind of that darkish blue sort of section, which is the top of our upper mantle that we're looking at. Okay, and then kind of, and then the next level down we go to 650, and then from there, then we go to a value, so so between 650 and then 2700 is where we're thinking about um, that, that kind of lower mantle. And then at 2700 to 2890, we've got this thing called the D layer. Now we're not going to go into that in a lot of detail, but that's something we can identify. And then going down to 5,150 to at the top of our inner core, and then to 6,378. So what we need to try and do is represent these distances effectively on a, the diagram, this, the, like, the, the sector kind of shape that we're going to have. So we're going to have this kind of shape that looks like this, okay? And that this the the edge here is going to represent our 6,378 kilometers, okay? And so then what we need to do is say, all right, well if I know that my next layer is say 400 kilometers down, and then I want to work out, all right, well, how many millimeters do I need to draw that point? Okay, and then I would do it the same over here, so you can do a line that connects them. Okay, so for each point that you're going to want to do it on both sides, so you've got a point that you can do a smooth freehand curve to connect. Okay, so now it, it, depending on exactly kind of how it plays out for you, I'm, I'm going to kind of talk you through the process. You might need to do some more specific calculations for you. Okay, but so let's say that you have on the edge of your sector is 220 millimetres long. Okay, so that 220 millimetres represents our 6,378 um, kilometres. Okay. Um, so what I might do, just just to, for simplicity of the maths, I'm going to do. I'm going to actually write it write it the other way around. Okay, you'll see why in a second. Okay, because what we now want to do is we now want to say, all right, well, therefore, how many millimeters will I need for one kilometer? So what I'm going to have to do to go from one kilo, this many kilometers equals 220 millimeters from here, I have to divide both sides by 6,378. So I get 220 over 6,378 millimetres. Now, I'm not representing this because this is something we're actually going to measure um, it, to that sort of level, but it is a value we can calculate. 
So I get a value of 0 0.0345 millimeters for every kilometer on my diagram. Okay, so this is going to be an important kind of ratio that we're going to use. So we're going to need to remember that. Okay, so I'm going to put a, a little box around it. And then what I might even do is I'm going to rewrite it up here. Okay, so now what we can say is, all right, let's, let's look at our first distance down of 400 kilometers. I want to work out, I want to convert that to however many millimeters I need to draw from the top of my diagram down to that point. Okay, so what I can do is now I take this value and I'm going to multiply it by the fraction I've got over here. 0 0.0345 millimetres for every one kilometre on my diagram. Now the reason for that's really, really simple. Okay, because what's going to happen if I multiply these two things together, then the units of kilometres are going to cancel out, leaving me units of millimetres. Okay, which is what I want. So for that, then I get in to rounding it to the nearest millimetre, I get 14 millimetres. Okay, so what you can then do is then you can go through with the numbers that are on that particular diagram, and then you can calculate each one by multiplying by this same fraction and then rounding it to the nearest millimetre. Okay, that's close enough for the purposes that we need. Okay, so this one ends up being 22 millimetres down and so on. So what I'm going to do then is that in my simplified kind of diagram here, okay, so I'm always going to be measuring from the top down to that first, that next point to put my line, okay? So the idea being that I'm, I'm not measuring, uh, this is a, a key thing here, I'm not measuring from, one, from, he, from here to here, then here to here, then here to here. I'm always measuring the distance from the top to that point because each of these values is a depth from the surface down to that point is 400 kilometers or 650 kilometers, okay? So that's the sort of process that we, we would follow. Okay, and, and you'll see that it ends up being um, roughly pretty accurate. Okay, so what you're going to need to do in this situation is you're going to need to measure the length of your, um, need to, to measure the, the length of the sector in your on your bit of paper. Okay, so that then you can put that value into here, where this line is, where that space is, okay? So you put that in, you follow the same process I showed you just now, and then you can use it to complete the activity. Okay, thanks very much for watching, good luck, and bye for now.